but I'm sure we'll do justice to this encounter. Let's have a quick look at the lineup for the All Manning team. Shakira Deer from Tivoli Gardens High in goal. Michael Forbes, Rabina Gordon, Stephon Johnson, Malachi Sterling. That's uh, the supposed back four. Ronaldo Barrett, Dylan John, Denzel McKenzie, and Adrian Reed in the middle. And up top, Brian Burkett, Romarian Thomas. They're coached by Craig Butler. The lineup for the Alta Costa team Antoine Gooden from Glenmuir in goal, Atibo Green, O'Neill Headley, Devontae Hodges, Tyreek McKenley, Theon Cupim, Malachi Douglas, Kyle Gordon, Chevon Miller, Cleo Clark, and the Da Costa Cup MVP, Kaim Dixon, up top, Cl coached by Lenworth Hyde. Alta Costa won. It started early for the all manning team. Beautiful header from Robina Gordon in the third minute. The corner kick coming from Denzel McKenzie. And they did well. It was really all the all manning team in the first half. Romarian Thompson, while he was on the park, started this one. Beautiful pass to Dylan John. Showed too much to Antoine Gooden. And at the slap, the upright in frustration. Again, the Alder Costa team was speared. Another error here, and the ball came to Sterling, or he won it, got it to Thomas, fired wide. Here's another cross from Denzel McKenzie. Great dummy, and Dylan John was warming up for what would happen next. Romarian Thomas. Ronaldo Barrett, Dylan John, back of the net. That was two. Atonement for the earlier miss. What a finish it was. Another look at it. And it looks even better in slow motion. In the second half, they would continue. That shot from Leon Brown, the substitute, went wide. And Antoine Gooden was out of position. If that had been on target, he would have been beaten. Shot from distance from Tyrese Gow was wide. This one came in the area. And Kyle Gordon fired high. Perhaps the best opportunity up to that moment. But look at this ball. Beautifully sent to Clear Clark. And Malachi Douglas grabbing the scraps and making a meal from it as he did last year. Getting a goal in the encounter, Malachi Douglas, the captain of Clarendon College and the captain here of this all the Costa selection. Adrian Reed, caught by O'Neill Headley and got the shot off. Surprisingly, Ronaldo Barrett barged down the flank and fired. Antoine Gooden was forced to make a good save. Devontae Hodges was beaten for pace by Ronaldo Barrett. In the midst of all the argy-bargy here, Malachi Douglas, oh, so close for him. And they were inching closer. Kaim Dixon had a shot from distance. Buttery fingers from Dijon Davis. Here's another chance. It fell to Douglas. His shot was wide. Nashan Bolt. Couldn't get a touch. He actually pulled away his foot. And perhaps would have done better to try to tap it home. And that was all she wrote. Full time stats. Two from eight in terms of shot from the All Costa team. Four from 14 for the All Manning. 12 fouls, eight to the All Manning team. Five offsides to the All Costa team. Nine corners in this game, six for the all manning team. Two saves made by the custodian for all the cost. The one made by the all manning team and the possession leveled out in the end. 51 in favor of the all manning team, as well as two goals 
to the Alder Costa teams won. We go now to the interview for the man of the match. Thank you so much, Dean. Yeah, I'm here with the Sports Mass Man of the Match. The award will be presented by Caden Webley, marketing manager of Sports Mass, Robinho Gordon, the recipient. Robinho, I'll step here. Let's, let's have a bit of a chat. Robinho, tell me about that first goal. How did you feel scoring it? Well, excited. Well, I was a bit excited because it was an exhibition game, so just come out here and play. Yeah, tell me about your defensive work, of course, always well, as tidy as usual. It was a rough match because the formation, more defense side, more open up, but holy. Yeah, Thank tell you. me about playing with this all man in team, though. Um, so many different talents here, so many different styles of players. Where did you see yourself fitting in? Well, well, I've been excellent throughout the season, so I deserve it. Yeah, yeah, well done to you. Thanks. Congratulations. That was Rubino Gordon, the man of the match. Let's have a chat now with Coach Lenworth. Teacher Hyde, the coach of the all the Costa team, would have come out on the losing end here, unfortunately. Oh, coach. Me, uh, macho, my <laughs> <laughs> I guess tonight was all, all about having fun for you. Did you huh? go again? Tonight was all about having fun for you and your team, of course. Do you like how they played tonight, despite the loss? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we played good. We, I didn't like the first half. I think second half we made the changes and they came in with some energy, you know, but it's a good night of football for the youngsters. It's just what they do after this, going forward, especially those that are leaving school. And I hope them the best in the future. But it was a good night of football. Yeah, coach. Um, yeah, of course, we, we usually talk football tactics, but the season is done now. Mm. So just let me talk to you about the future, development in, of football mm. in uh, Jamaica at this age. Do you think it starts here? Yeah, man, definitely. And even younger, you know, under 10, and 8, eight we start from that age group and try and build. We need to have those type of competition in the country that we can see the talents from very early, that we can harness them and prepare them for the, for the future. All right, Coach, thank you so much. Yeah, man, definitely. Yeah. I was Coach Lenny Hyde there from the All the Costa team. And of course, a, 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 always a, a pleasure to talk to him. He talks a lot about his plans with the young players that he coaches. Now time to talk to the all manning team coaches. And uh, yeah, I see all three of them here. Coach Butler, Coach Vassar Reynolds on his, on his right and on his left. Coach, Coach Anderson. Anderson. Uh, Coach Butler, let me talk to you about the win tonight. Uh, it was obvious, quite clear from the first whistle that you came out here to win. Yeah, we, we, you know, we want to get back one off of Lenny. Lenny kind of deal with us harsh that seems there. So <laughs> everybody gets a little touch off of Lenny. It's good to come back and get back peace off of him and, you know, bring it back to, to Kingston. Yeah, well, you talked about working with the students earlier, uh, but what's it like working with this team, Coach Vassar Reynolds and Coach Raymond Anderson? It's very enlightening. Um, challenging, enlightening people with different perspectives, with different players coming together to work, um, not understanding each other's systems. But for when we have really worked hard together and we have gotten a result, you know, we rely on them. You know, even here we have to. This is a team, you know, and they were exceptional in the in the whole guiding of the players on the pitch, you know. And you know, each of us have a special relationship with some of the players so we can able to get more out of them and they were able to do that. Really happy to have them, Coach Bustle and, and, and Coach Anderson really did a great job. Yeah, I just asked Coach Hyde about development of football at this stage. Of you yourself, you would have gotten a, a number of, of these young students over and away after schoolboy football. What is key to ensuring that development of, of football in Jamaica, especially at this age, continues? Well, I put that question to Coach Bustle. It's, it's a very important, I mean, the continuation um, and, and so to assist the players with the transition. I think part of the problem we have now is after school boy, what? Some of these boys, I mean, after eight, nine games, that's it for an entire year almost. And you're going up against a Honduras player, a Mexican player, a US player who have been playing right through. So I think the, this, this, this period of time after the school boy until the next boy, what, what these boys do. One of the good things about these couple of boys, we have a good percentage of them playing Premier League and that is good for them. Um, like players 
players in certain academy like Phoenix and other academy, they have been playing right through. And it's just continuity you want to help these players with the, with the, to make the transition easier for them. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I said to Coach Anderson while the game was going on is can you imagine if we were able to keep all of these guys together? We'd have a killer national team, don't we? Yeah, true, true. yeah, so that's that's one of the things we have to do, look at as a nation, the powers that be. Whether it is ISA, whether it is JFF, whether it is the Paris Association, they need to continue bringing the players together and working on a proper system of play. If you notice, it was a systematic approach to this game. You know? It wasn't yeah. just natural football, it was organized. We had different stages and yeah. went through. Thank you so much, coaches, and congratulations to your all-money team. All right, respect.